Hello Gemini, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Gemini placements for the first half of April. Okay, we're going to pull out a Sacred Rebels Oracle for you. It has an affirmation. I will read that at the end. Um, and then we're going to pull out a couple of Sacred Travelers. This seems to be a very big month for everyone. And Spirit told me to grab these two decks. It wasn't until I started to do Aries that I noticed that both of them were sacred. <laughs> there it is. Okay, awesome. So let's get this started. Ooh, 33. Heavenly scent. Heaven scent. Look at that beautiful card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to read the first part of it. Here we go. Heaven sent. And then at the end, like I said, we're going to do the affirmation. Just as we receive gifts in the physical world through the thoughtfulness of others to acknowledge how much we mean to them, so we receive gifts on other levels, including the spiritual level. A spiritual gift is something that happens through grace. We can ask for help and it may be given in response to that request. All requests for help are answered. A spiritual gift can also be given without us asking for anything at all, at least not consciously. Sometimes it is our hearts that cry out for help. While we are busy getting on with our to-do lists, we don't often stop to think about what our hearts might need. If we do, and an immediate solution is not obvious, we just get on with life, either letting the issue be or taking the, main, the more painful option of dwelling on it without seeing how it might be resolved. However, there is a loving benevolence in life that knows exactly what we need and how it can best come to us, even when we are not quite so clear. This force actively seeks to assist us in walking our life path. That loving sweetness is being offered to you now, or soon will be, in the form of a spiritual gift. Your spiritual gift may be symbolic. It may be something that seems ordinary, but holds a lot of meaning to you. It might be an object that catches your eye and mesmerizes you. You may think you are appreciating how lovely it looks, but it is the underlying energy that captures you. Something in the appearance, color, or shape speaks to you and is perhaps answering an unspoken prayer. It is not the object that is the gift. That is just the wrapping. The actual gift is subtle, yet effective empowerment. It is like a spiritual booster shot that helps you move forward in life with additional zing, extra strength, and greater peace. You will be empowered to accomplish tasks that you may have nearly but not quite been able to manage on your own through the bestowal of a spiritual gift. The spiritual gift may or may not be recognizable to you. It may be very obvious, an offer, a windfall, a trip, a friendship, a new lover, or a remarkable healing in a current relationship. It might be far more subtle and even more powerful, such as a jolt of energy that allows you to perceive things differently all of a sudden and perhaps solve a problem that has been plaguing you. It will be bestowed as and when it is needed in the form that will best serve the love in you. This oracle brings you the message, let yourself be helped. Assistance is coming your way, so act on it and say yes. If you have also drawn, oh no, skip that. This oracle also comes with the message that you are to trust in the things that you feel and say to others without knowing why. It moves them. You may not understand, but through trust, it moves them. You are allowing yourself not to overthink and censor yourself. 
As such, you are able to become a vessel through which the spiritual gift can be passed on to others. Don't block yourself. Let life happen through you. Only benefit can come from this. Okay, and then we will do the healing process, which is very short at the end. All right, that is a beautiful, beautiful card. So you have blessings coming. Gemini, Gemini for the first half of April, please. Gemini for the first half of April. And for all of you that hit that like button, that show me that you enjoyed this, that you get something out of it, do know how much I appreciate it. Emails, comments, all of it is greatly appreciated. Join us during a live and get a free question. My show of gratitude back towards you. Oh, there's one. Taking shelter. The answers are within. You are being very protected right now. Okay? I think that you are... Mm. This is in reverse. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. The answers are within you that you are seeking. You already know the answer. Oh, you're seeking the answer to a question, but you already know the answer. It's in you. It's inside you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There is much more going on with you than what you are allowing others to know right now. Spirit is saying to take shelter within spirit. You are protected. You are fearing the dark. But the light is inside you. Nine of Cups. Eight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. King of Swords. Once you acknowledge that you have the answer, it is going to bring you great joy because you're going to see that it's not a big bad monster. Things are going to move forward very, very quickly. You will be a page on a new, on a new path, but with the knowledge of the King of Swords. I feel almost as though it's a repeat of something. It's the beginning of a new path, but it's like you've walked down this path so many times before, but you've never walked down this path as a king. This time, you are a king. Ace of Pentacles, yes. The answer you seek is about a new beginning chariot you will move forward very very quickly because of your self-determination your will is what drives a chariot but you see she has no reins she allows spirit to guide her chariot you do want this new beginning you're just afraid to take it six of pentacles so there's a lot of pentacles here gemini You have the knowledge, you have all the knowledge you need. You're just afraid to hope, is what I am getting. You have all the knowledge you need. You have the knowledge of the king. You will be starting out as a page. But with this knowledge and this determination and this need, for equilibrium in your life. It's your own fear that's holding you back from getting the answers. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. This is something you are going to absolutely love. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. You know it's time. That's what I'm hearing. You know it's time to move forward. You know it's time to go and grab that cup. 
strength. You have the ability. You've learned so much. You're not so critical on yourself anymore. And if you are, stop it. Seven of Wands, you've got this. You've got this. I love this Seven of Wands. Look at his face. Hold on, it'll focus. It'll focus. Focus. Hold on. There we go. He's not worried. He's not worried. He's got this and he knows it. The moon. Examine why you're not taking this step. Examine what's really holding you back. And I think you will find your answer, love. Okay. The two aces. Two aces. It's amazing. All right, we're going to get you a card from the Dreams of Gaia before we do uh, the healing affirmation for Heaven Sent. Okay? One card for Gemini, please, for the first half of April. One card for Gemini, please, for the first half of April. Gemini. Six of Earth. Six of Earth. Family, community, providence, protection, dependability, responsibility, duty, service, self-sacrifice, and martyrdom. Responsibility and duty to family. Give love, care, and support. Lead by example. A time of sharing. Important matters need attention. Help for the right reasons. This card talks about being about self-sacrifice and martyrdom. And I think that that is where you're holding yourself. If you're holding yourself back from this, if you're holding yourself back from seeing the answer that lies within you, it's because it's a sense of self-sacrifice and martyrdom on your part. And I think Spirit is trying to tell you to stop that now. Okay? That you no longer need to do that. Your healing process. Say this aloud with me. Through unconditional love, I now accept the spiritual gifts that are bestowed upon me with complete trust and gratitude. So be it. Okay, guys, you know I love you. I will see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.